Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fallout 76 inside the vault letter for February 14, 2019. This vault letter covers a lot of things. It talks about what's next for the game and also talks about patch 6 and things that are soon going to be fixed. However, they do say that it's not a full list of stuff. They still have more to add to it. But we're going to be taking a look at the inside the vault letter for February 14th, 2019. And I gotta say, this is an amazing vault letter and probably the best vault letter that I have read so far from Bethesda Game Studios. So, it starts off by saying, uh, welcome back to the inside the vault and happy Valentine's Day. This week we've got details on a few more changes that are currently planned for re release with patch 6 next week. Announcing upcoming Fallout 76 streams with the new community team and sharing more information about the game content we're introducing over the next few months. And then it goes on to say, what's next? We see questions and comments on all and on an almost daily basis regarding what to come, what's to come in Fallout 76 and what we are actively working on. Our team is fully dedicated to delivering you great in-game experiences, and that includes first and foremost continuing to make fixes and address issues. But we are also working on a lot of new content and features. We mentioned our upcoming survival mode uh, is currently planned for release in March for fans of PvP, but we will also be introducing new PvE content for those who seek adventure through quest events, and other features. We're planning to do this through series through series of weekly updates we're calling Wild Appalachia, which will be our first big content drop over of the year and spans the next few months. In addition to new quest events and challenges, it will also bring new content to camps, crafting, and much more. Our 2019's roadmap, which we which we're currently looking to roll out later this month, will give you a broader look at what's to come to Fallout 76 with Wild Appalachia. Additionally, ahead of each Wild Appalachia update, we will share a more in-depth preview of the new content and features being introduced to the game the following week. So, my god, when they said they were going to add more PvE content about a month ago, I thought they were just going to add a few quests, some events, and some additional features. However, we're going to get this every week for a couple of months. I gotta say, that is insane. Originally, I thought we might get content, you know, every month or every two months or three months or something like that. But it looks like they want to do new content every week for the next few months, which is absolutely insane in my opinion. I mean, we're going to get new quests, events, and challenges, and it's going to bring new content to the camp and crafting systems. And I honestly can't wait to see what it adds. It looks like we're going to get a lot of content coming soon. And this is just fucking amazing in my opinion. This is the best news I have heard when it comes to Fallout 76 and them adding new content. And the letter of Inside to the Vault. And the letter only gets better. When you go on to a look at some of Patch 6, it says... Patch 6 is anticipated to release next week and planned for simultaneous launch on Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4. This will be the last update ahead of Wild Appalachia, 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 however you want to say it, which will be supported by Patch 7. Sticking to 6, we are still compiling a full patch notes to provide you once that update is available. But in our tradition, we wanted to share with you some of the larger fixes we're working on. And it says stash limit increased to 800 pounds. That's a huge one. Everyone's been asking for more stash. And it looks like we're finally get it, getting it. And I'm really, really, really happy um, that it's happening. Um, it also talks about how the M79 grenade launcher and auto grenade launchers are now classified as heavy weapons. I know a lot of people, in fact, just a few people were asking for that. And I think that's really, really nice as well. Going on, it says accidentally damaging another player's camp will no longer tag you as wanted. Thank God. I can't tell you how many times I was in a fight near someone's base or I accidentally shot at someone's base unknowingly 
or whatever have you, and then I'm wanted and I have a bounty, and then I have to hurry home, but 90% of the time I try to hurry home, somebody kills me before I, I can get there, and then all my loot's gone that I've worked hours for, and then I feel kind of sad, but... You guys know what it's like to accidentally shoot someone camp, someone's camp and then you're wanted and that bounty only builds over time and it really, really does suck. Uh, so I'm glad to see that this uh, is uh, better. Um, and the full uh, thing, if you want to read it, it says, From our known issues list, players who actually shoot, shoot, hit, or disturb another player's camp will no longer become wanted and viewed as an engaging in PvP. Instead, you must actively work to be malicious to another player and destroy their camp objects for it to be considered a PvP action and become marked as wanted. We will closely monitor player feedback to, to this change. That is perfect. That is the way it should have been from the start. When you destroy something, then you get wanted. And I'm glad to see that they're making this change. It also talks about players' icons now display in more areas throughout the game, which really wasn't a huge issue. It just talks about how once patch 6 arrives, hovering over the player on the map will now display their I icon, and workshops will be display their owner's player's icon too. Additionally, when viewing a turret created by another player, you will now be able to see the owner's name and player icon in the turret's nameplate. And it goes on to quest containers during the Feed the People and Path to Alignment events. Now only accept quest items. With this fix, players can no longer accidentally transfer items in from their inventories into these quest containers. As a result, you should now be able to complete these events without fear of losing non-quest items, which is really cool. I really didn't even know that was an issue, but I'm glad to see Bethesda fixed it nonetheless because obviously it did trouble some people if they're actually fixing it. They also talk about how they're going to start live streaming. Um, it says, starting soon, our community team is going to start live streaming Fallout 76 on Twitch and Mixer. We'd like to start working to answer more of your questions in real time while also having fun hanging out with you. We'll be curating the streams based on what you'd like to know, as well as using them as an opportunity to chat more directly with you while we share in our excitement for new content quests and events and more throughout the years this year and beyond we're currently aiming for our first stream to take place on friday february 22nd from 2 to 3 p.m eastern standard time i gotta say i'm a little bit nervous about this but i'm glad that they're doing it the reason why i'm nervous is because we all know that there's going to be trolls and people who just abuse them on twitch and mixer and that's really going to be unfortunate because all the trolls all the people who hate on them it's going to take away from the genuine debates and challenging and i challenging of ideas and people putting new ideas forth if they have to deal with a bunch of you know meanies right let's just call them meanies for for the sake of video so you know if they have to deal with a bunch of meanies all day then that's less time they could spend focused on answering real questions that the community wants answered uh, whether that be about content, what they plan on doing in the future, um, giving them just general feedback in general is it, going to be really hard if it's just filled with a bunch of trolls. And that's the thing I'm worried about, but I'm glad to see they want to get more in touch with the community and they're going to start live streaming Fallout 76 on Twitch and Mixer. I think that's really awesome and I think that's really amazing. And the vote letter also says weekly spotlight. It takes two or three or four and it talks about how if you team up during the Valentine's Day uh, on February 18th, you'll gain 15 maximum health for each player, but, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, that's pretty insane, this is probably the best news of Fallout 76 we have seen so far, this is the greatest Inside the Vault letter that I have ever read so far, these are the greatest updates I have ever seen so far. This is just the greatest news about Fallout 76 I have heard so far in general, and I can't wait to see these changes implemented, and I'm pretty sure many of you are excited for them as well. If you are, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next video, but until then, remember to stay freaky, and bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.